I just spent two hours in Target. How's your day going? <laughs> hey guys, so I wanted this to be a less formal video. Clearly I'm not wearing any makeup. I just literally, literally spent two hours in Target. You'll have to comment and let me know what's like a normal amount of time to spend in Target. Like when you're going on like a big grocery trip, like how long does it take you? Let me know, I'm curious. So I get really excited about going to Target. Um, I really had to go grocery shopping. I literally spent like all of last week being really crafty with like the random odds and ends I had left over and I have like nothing left um, in my apartment to eat. So I knew I needed to do a giant grocery haul and there was one off the highway on my way home. So I went because it's normally like 40 minutes away from me, um, but it's so much cheaper than stop and shop, which is what I have near where I actually live so much cheaper and I have the red card now so I get 5% off of everything and I use cartwheel so I'll stand there and look things up and see if there's any coupons on their app that you don't see advertised in store. I bought pretty much only things that were on sale per usual so this is like a little bargain shopping haul. I'm not really couponing unless you count like things that were on sale in cartwheel but last time I did one of these like a year and a half ago for my old apartment apartment lol um everyone really seemed to like that and i really enjoyed doing it and i just got like a ton 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 of stuff like it looks like i bought groceries for a family of five but it's all for me yeah i felt really ridiculous i like, got so much stuff i'm just gonna show you guys like a little grocery haul and like a few things i got for my apartment um just like at the speed of light like really quick um i'm not sure if i'm gonna sh say like prices or just be like oh this had a cartwheel or like oh this was on sale let me know if you guys like specific prices or specific percentages off i like doing these kind of informal grocery hauls you guys seem to like them and i love food i love food so i just want to talk about it and i'm a vegetarian if you want to hear more about that i have a whole video about it um frequently asked questions and like q a about it and just like my whole story so if you want to hear about that let me know I'm always trying to like eat kind of healthy but like i also can't cook so it's kind of a struggle. Sometimes I pick like gluten-free and vegan stuff. If I get the chance, I like a lot of naturally stuff. So I'm gonna show you guys what I got. Let me know how you like grocery hauls. They're really fun to do. And I know I filmed another one I still need to edit. So there's quite a few up on my channel. I did some like for my dorm, like dorm snack hauls. You can check those out. And like now I have a legit kitchen so I can actually sort of like cook things, but like I don't know how, but I have more options when I was just living in a dorm, so. I got so much stuff. Literally the lady behind me in line, she was like talking to her friend. She was like, should we get in another aisle? Let's go to 12. No, 12's busy too. Can we do self checkout? No, I got a lot of stuff. And so she was just stuck there. And my bagger was like so slow and he was like talking to me. He was so nice. I was loving it. But like, I was so embarrassed. I thought like the lady behind me was gonna like kill herself with a plastic bag and like put it over her head and just like end it right there because I could like feel her glaring at me the whole time. And I was like, it's not my fault. I'm stocking up. The guy is slow, but he's nice, so chill out. So I realize I hate like, grocery shopping. Like I feel like I go out like twice a week, like every few days because I forgot something or I ran out of something. So I just did everything at once. I waited till I ran out of everything <laughs> and I made a giant grocery. Actually, my grocery list wasn't that long. I didn't go in for that many things. And then while I, I you know how Target goes, you just, you wander around and it's like a wonderland. And then you add all these things to your cart that like you weren't planning on buying. So yeah, I really really stocked up this should hold me for like honestly like three weeks for some things i may need to go out and grab little replacements here and there but like this should be good for a long time i hope let's begin so i love amy's burritos i got a ton of these these were on sale no cartwheel but they were a good sale and that rarely happens so this is the cheddar cheese one gluten free love this everything i get is vegetarian so i'm a vegetarian obviously i wanted some more parmesan cheese because i just got a little one that i like picked up at a gas station <laughs> like as a as a last minute thing oh no that was bad and so i almost went through that i use a lot of parmesan cheese when i make pasta so it was between craft and then i decided to like try a new brand that was more like local supporting the little guys this is mama francesca parmesan and romano grated cheese it was pretty much the same price as craft if not cheaper this i'm so excited for i've been looking for this forever i watch marissa lace here on youtube and she went vegan for about a month every now and then she'll go vegan and do like a vegan challenge for herself and she always talked about vegan ranch and i love ranch dressing i put it on everything and i been looking for this everywhere and it was on sale this was like 250 it was cheaper than regular ranch it's the just ranch hampton creek i don't know um it's non-gmo egg-free dairy-free and gluten-free so i assume that means it's vegan 
Um, I didn't really feel like sitting there and reading through all the ingredients. Oh, it has mushrooms in it. Gross. I hope you don't taste those. I hate mushrooms. But I'm really excited for this. They make like mayo, mustard, all sorts of vegan toppings. And my friend told me they had it at Target, so I've been meaning to get it. So I'm so excited. I hope this is delicious and like everything I want in life. I needed another thing of butter. So I got the Land O'Lakes light butter. It's cheap. There was no cartwheel a lot of times there is though for other butters there was for their market pantry brand but i didn't see it in a tub so i just got this target was picked over like crazy today i went on a tuesday so i thought it'd be fine like in the middle of the week i thought they'd like restock over the weekend but like so many things were missing i wanted something quick and frozen i could just heat up in the morning for breakfast so these are the amy's gluten-free tofu scramble breakfast wrap these are so good i think i got like the last two of these these are on sale for a lot cheaper than they usually were so i felt like i could afford them and they didn't have any vegetarian like frozen breakfast sandwiches, which I get sometimes. So these are so good though. I'm so happy I remembered about these. They have hash browns, tofu, and vegetables in them. So good. And then I got this giant box of six Orville Redenbacher's pop-up bowls, the butter ones. This is like one of my favorite kinds of popcorn. I love popcorn. This was on sale. It was pretty cheap for a six pack. It was like on sale for the same price. A three pack would be at like CVS or something. So love that. Back to Amy's, her bowl meals were like really cheap too. Usually they're pretty expensive, but these were pretty affordable. And if I come home for lunch and I just want a quick lunch or I want a quick dinner before like a meeting or I'm doing something or whatever, I don't feel like sitting around and cooking. It takes up so much time. So I bought like a ton of these. So I'm going to be a little lazy for a little bit. This is their new light and lean collection. It's their sweet and sour Asian noodle bowl. Sounded good. I think these were like under three bucks, which was amazing. And this is her three cheese and kale bake. This is delicious. Oh my God. So good. Organic rice pasta and vegetables. So um, it's good. Whoa. <laughs> So it's gluten-free, non-GMO, all that good stuff. This is a really good brand. Everything they make is vegetarian, I'm pretty sure, and natural, non-GMO, all that stuff. And then these I usually like for like a late night snack. They're little pizza snacks, but I didn't realize these are actually cheese and bean, the nacho ones. So that also sounds delicious. These were super cheap, uh, like $2.80 something, I think. Like less than $3, like really good price. I ran out of cereal and this is the exact same one I just had and it's pretty good. The Kashi Organic Promise Autumn Wheat Non-GMO Organic has 50 grains of whole grains and five grams of fiber and it has a lot of protein in it. It's pretty much mini wheats, but like grown up. So this was on sale too. This was like less than three bucks, which is really good for Kashi. And then I always get coffee creamer. This is the Simply Pure one by International Delight. My mom really likes these natural ones. So I've been starting to get more into these that are made with like actual cream and heavy cream and stuff like that. And these were really cheap at Target. They're like $1.99 to begin with. And then it was 20% off on cartwheel. So I got two of these. Some long grain and wild rice. Rice aroni, super easy to make. I love rice, especially if you're making a Mexican dish. This is super easy to make. And then add it to whatever you're doing. And then this is so good. The Barilla gluten-free penny. We had this at home one time. My mom made it. It's so good. Like it tastes better than regular pasta. This was on sale as well. Super cheap. Um, this was really, really good. So if I'm making my own pasta from scratch, I can use this. Highly recommend this if you're looking to go gluten-free or if you are gluten-free so good so affordable and because it's a big brand it's at like all the big stores so it's amazing so silk changed its packaging um this is their unsweetened vanilla almond milk which i use in coffee smoothies cereal hot chocolate like everything i go through it so fast so i got two because this is the other thing i'm always running out of and having to go to the grocery store and usually these are like four dollars or like a lot at stop and shop and they were 250 so i stocked up because that was really good and yeah, I think these might have had a cartwheel too. It was like a really good buy. This bag is giant. So, hallelujah, Starbucks coffee was on sale at Target. It was $6.99, $5.99, really good price. So I got their ground coffee, the Pike Place Roast. It's a medium roast, says it's smooth and balanced. I get this all the time, so good. I use my little fill your own K-cup pods and buy my own ground coffee. It's so much cheaper than K-cups and I wait for when Starbucks goes on sale. Their um, light roasts weren't on sale, just the medium and dark roast. So I hate that because um, I like their blonde roasts a lot. So I just got this one. This one's also very good. Got some mission wraps for making sandwiches. These are the 
garden spinach herb. I love these, they're so good. And then Morningstar was all on sale. I've been seeing it on sale a lot at Stop and Shop and Target lately, which is awesome. It's all like meat substitutes, so perfect for me. I like live off this stuff. This was like $3.50 I think, which is awesome because sometimes it can get up to six bucks and there were a lot of different um, cartwheel coupons for it. I think this variety of food was like 5% off, but if you got like the big value packs it was like 20% off and then certain things had other percentages, so that was awesome. So these are their veggie breakfast bacon strips. Ugh. I love these. They're so much healthier for you than regular bacon. They're so delicious. I make them all the time. I've been making veggie bacon ranch wraps. So now I can make a vegan version with my vegan ranch with those wraps I just showed you. I make these for breakfast. I will crumble them up and put them on salads. Like so good, so quick to make. Love them. Highly recommend if you're a vegetarian or not, try these out. They're healthier than regular bacon. It says they have 36% less fat. They're only 60 calories for every two pieces, which are honestly really filling. You don't need that many. Then I may have talked about these in the bacon strips before, but I got the Morningstar chicken nuggets. These are really good. So yummy. 40% less fat than actual chicken nuggets with meat in them. So these are a great meat substitute as well. Really easy to make in the microwave or the oven. These were sadly not on sale, but they just looked so good. Aren't these like perfect tomatoes? These are just one sweet tomato. Little, um, these cherry tomatoes, I think. They're so cute. And this is like the best packaging because you can just wash them in here. You can reuse this little plastic thing afterwards to like store things in. I've done that before. Then these carrots, I think were like two for three or something really affordable. Just some baby carrots, I usually like shredded ones for like sandwiches and salads, but this works too. Easier to snack on with my vegan ranch. I'm so excited for it. Literally, I'm, I keep telling you things I put ranch on because I literally put it on everything. Oh, this got squished. <laughs> so bad there's hardly anything in here oh my god these are just greens for salads and sandwiches the fresh express 50 50 mix of spring mix and spinach this was on sale two for five and mine has been squished to death and then this is the other simply pure i got in that caramel flavor this one's so good i pretty much switched to using almond milk for almost everything but i did buy some regular milk i like to have it on hand i just buy like a really tiny amount like i won't be able to even go through all of this but you still need regular milk for cooking and baking certain things and vanilla almond milk tastes kind of weird in them so i keep this around good for mac and cheese and like baking and stuff so got a little dude and then i was all out of liquid egg whites i just recently started using these instead of regular eggs but i really like hate the yolk like i'll force myself to eat it but they're really not even that good for you anyways i always just feed them to my dog but my dog doesn't live here so i can't do that and i feel like i'm just throwing away food and then my whole place just smells like egg yolk until i take the trash out and it's really disgusting so i've just switched to using liquid egg whites and they cook so much faster too um i've been using the simply whites brand that's green but they only had like the big one of that and i wasn't sure i'd be able to go through that in time although the expiration dates on those were a whole month later than these like they had some expired egg whites out market pantry brand so i really had to dig in the back for these but this is just the 16 ounce so they're cholesterol free and fat free and i think just like better for you in general I have a lot of protein in them so i do still eat eggs as a vegetarian so i think that's pretty much it for groceries these are just a few personal fun things i got for myself in the apartment and it was funny because i was walking into target and i heard someone say the word shaving cream and i was like Oh yeah, I haven't bought shaving cream in like months. I've just been using shower gel, but it kind of like dries out your legs. It doesn't work as well. I like the foam of a shaving cream, but I just haven't felt like buying it. But this was like obscenely cheap. It was like $2.59, I think. $2.69, my receipt says. This is the Pure Silk um, Raspberry Mist Moisturizing Shave Cream. And it was a two pack for $2.69. And then the cartwheel was 25% off. So I was standing in the shave cream aisle and I was like, oh, what's on sale? What can I get a cartwheel for? And this was 25% off and I got two. So these will last for a while. And they say the cans are rust proof, which I hope because I don't want to get my new shower having little rust rings on it because that's never fun. And then I feel like I'm just going to like cut myself on the rusty bottom. So um, are these like really bad? because they're cheap or are they good i feel like all shaving creams are relatively the same not gonna lie i've tried a lot so let me know how you like these 
if this is a good brand or if they're just like cheap for a reason. I also could not resist the dollar section. I thought I would get some cute thank you notes for like when I sell things online on Poshmark and stuff. I like to write people thank you notes. So I'll just buy the dollar spot ones at Target because they're so cute. They're like the perfect little size and you get like six for a dollar, which is awesome. But I thought these were so pretty. So I got these. These just say thank you on them and they have scalloped bottom and flowers on them. Colors. They just have little flowers and then they have matching envelopes so they kind of go together and these reminded me of one of my friends so I like kind of bought them to write to her slash maybe give her these I don't know but now I have extra thank you notes they're so cute I don't know what it is I just keep buying thank you notes they're so freaking cute I just want to say thank you to everyone and I feel like I've just been sending a ton of these lately between like my birthday and like whenever I sell things so I don't know I like having a collection of these I I love stationery okay so I treated myself to some new hangers I love this felted kind these are the huggable hangers brand um, by Joy Mangano the original so this is a 10 pack and it says for suits and pants I don't know I like the ones with the bar on the bottom they do sell ones that are just the top but um, sometimes I like the bottom obviously for pants and stuff and they they just look weird without the bottom and they were the same price So I figured why not so my closet situation is the most irritating thing in the world It's not even like a closet I swear to god someone just took a box cutter to the drywall and opened a door and like put a pole in there like it's so <laughs> primitive it's awful I have to like reach over my clothes in the front to get to the clothes in the back and it's so demented and I bought something for it I'm gonna show you in a second I'm so excited for it and so in the process of kind of redoing my closet I thought I'd get two packs of these so I bought 20 total these are $8.99 for one pack no coupon no sale no nothing I was kind of bummed but I was like you know what I'm gonna treat myself because my clothes are just slippery a lot of them have like the little loops they've ripped off or torn off like this sweater only has one loop so it's always fallen off I have a lot of like cardigans like this so they don't like to stay on traditional plastic hangers they just fall right off and it's so annoying so these hold your clothes on a lot better I have some purple ones so I almost bought purple then I thought black would look nice and more like minimalistic. I was kind of inspired by Erin the Insomniac. I love her channel here on YouTube. We've collabed before. She's like one of my internet friends and stuff. Um, but she did a closet decluttering video a while ago and she threw out all her plastic hangers and just used these. Um, and they obviously save space because they're a lot thinner and then your clothes actually stay on them. And I think they're just way more appealing looking. But I do want to keep like some plastic hangers because they are good for some things like tank tops or things with like little straps and then if you're hanging up wet clothes too if you're just letting them air dry then like these you don't want your wet clothes on them um so I did get some of these I'm so excited to be using these and replacing some of my crappy little plastic ones that just don't do their job right plus I break hangers like all the time I don't know what it is I'm always like stepping on them or like they'll be in my bag and I'll just like crunch them like I, I break so many plastic hangers so these are a little more indestructible and I just don't have enough hangers here so I needed some anyway so I bought some like grown-up things and like actual furniture things in Target this is what like took me forever so this says just horizontal shelf but they like market it as a shoe rack and this one looks really nice. This is the color Espresso and you can stack it. It says it's easy to assemble, but assembly is required. So I'm a little nervous about that. I'm really bad at putting things together from the box. Um, but my shoes right now are just in a plastic tub and they're just sitting on each other getting crushed and dirty. Now there's boots involved and now, I don't know. I just want a nice way to display my shoes and this looked like the perfect solution. Just looks so cute. So I got this. It was relatively inexpensive too. I hope it's not that hard to figure out. I invited a friend over to help me put this together. So hopefully she shows up and we can figure it out together. And are you ready for the most exciting part of this whole haul? I'm so excited for these. I hope they work out the way I want to. So like I said, my closet situation is a wreck. So I've been wanting to buy a clothing rack and for some reason I like didn't know where you could buy them. Like I thought only like fashion designers could buy clothing racks. So I thought they'd be really expensive and then I found them at Target. So this was like $21, I think. It was in the wrong spot. Originally I thought it was like 14, but it wasn't. So I just got this adjustable garment rack. It says easy, no tools assembly. So I'm super excited for that. 
Here's what the picture looks like. Has metal rods with a chrome finish, has wheels on it. So I'm gonna put this um, somewhere in my room and I'll just keep like my most worn clothes and like jackets, nicer things that don't fit in my closet, things I'm gonna reach for a lot more often out in the open. It'll be kind of a cool display piece too. We'll see how it goes. And especially with my new hangers, it'll look so much more aesthetically pleasing with those black hangers and like, ugly plastic white ones, you know? Or like none of my hangers match. Like I've never like bought a whole set of hangers. So they're all different colors and different styles. And it's just ridiculous. So I actually bought two of these. One is for my actual clothes. And then one is for in here. When I was talking to you guys about my background, like obviously this wall color is not super appealing. And with my lighting, it just looks like like pea yellow um even though it's more of like a pleasant cream color but it just doesn't look great for beauty videos so i want to get a backdrop so someone suggested um in the comments of that video that i just buy a clothing rack from ikea for 20 bucks apparently you can also get them at target for 20 bucks and somehow just drape some fabric over it so i was looking at curtains and uh, all the different kind of fabric they had at Target and none of them really seemed like a good background so I'm going to order some online and hope it comes quick so I can set up my new background and make my videos look a lot better and uh, less distracting. So I really hope that works out and that this is a good size and I can find a big enough piece of fabric. I really should have like done more research about backgrounds but I'm just, I'm just going to wing it. So here's to a new background in a closet that doesn't make me want to rip my hair out. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this kind of video. I like making them more informal ones and talking about food and stuff like that. So give this video a thumbs up if you liked it so I know to do more and leave me a comment letting me know what you think down below if you've tried any things I got or again if you have info about where I can get a good backdrop or like what size of fabric to buy. I'm not entirely sure. Obviously something that covers this whole clothing rack. Subscribe to join the Glam Bam fam if you haven't already and check out my second vlogging channel for vlogs of my adventures and special events and stuff like that. I have a lot to upload there in the near future so you don't want to miss it. That is at the gorgeous life for me and I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. 3, 2, 1, bam!